Make to Detroit become human. Let's see. Um, let's see what should I talk about. I shouldn't talk about anything because, you know, there is no one to talk to except you guys. <laughs> But, well, this will be the second video I've made of this game today, so there's that. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Nice. Um, sure. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? No. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Yes. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Uh, a book, a cell phone, pen, paper, console, and instrument. Well, I would need, I would need freaking um, electricity for this and this. This would be for playing, and I don't know how to play. I mean, a book would pass the time, but I would say pen and paper. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Yes. What technology do you most anticipate? Androids, flying cars, space tourism, brain connecting devices. Do you believe in God? Yes. Would you let an android take care of your children? E I don't know. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? I don't know how much time a day do we all spend on an electronic no, uh, device. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Mm, the machine was good, yes. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Yes. Why a cell phone? In order for you to use a cell phone, you would have to be in a place to for a divider for a provider. You <laughs> a pen and paper would be easier because you could probably send it out to sea in like a bottle or something, if you could find a bottle. Yes. Ah oh, dang. Hmm. It's easy. No. Yes. No. It's <laughs> dang. Tied. Most people do more, and I did more. I do more, yes. Hmm. All right, let's continue now. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, we don't have time, Gladys. Whatever your name is, I don't know your name. We don't have time for this. We must go. Oh. Um, oh. Hello, Marcus. Life seems to not have been treating you well. Here's another. I need new legs. Mm, it's hard to see things.
stand out there is no standing up we don't have any legs I don't think that one's compatible. Yeet. Oh dang. I wonder, would they call would they call themselves zombies if they came back to life like this? I'm oh, sorry, what did you say? Didn't hear you because I have no hearing. You're alive! Man, that's a shame. Most of them are dead. Alright, what was I thinking? Places like in movies and shows, places of safe havens called Jericho. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Uh, that's creepy. It's like in some sort of horror movie. Don't, don't touch me. No, no. Uh. Where are you going? I want, you freaking idiot. You freak of nature? Heck. Dang, there's a lot of them. Damaged. Low energy. I am not going to die like this. Ooh. Functional. Lucky. You're lucky. I am Jesus. Okay, no, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> I need parts. Dear Lord, Marcus, there's like so many bodies that you could search.
Over there. Egg. Climbing that. Alright, if I climb that one, I'm getting. I'm not climbing that until I find the right parts. I'm pretty sure the other half of his face is destroyed, so. Oh. Oh my, I think I left it there without anything else. Hmm. Compatible, nice. Hurry up, bud, before you frickin' die. Hmm. Now I just need an eye. Pretty sure. Did I already look at this guy? I think I already looked at this guy's thing. It's instructional but incompatible. I am not. Alrighty, um. Hmm. I'm alive! That is a creepy place! Dang, all these poor androids, bro. Nice. Oh, frick. Well now. Okay, everything's back to normal. I am the slope, alrighty. Oh, 
Gracias. We are Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You almost there, bud. There we are, Marcus. There we are. You are now reborn. Not a scar left. I guess I am now human. Forever. I am man. <laughs> Anyways. That took a while. Yes it is, Marcus, my boy. That took a while, and that was scary most of the parts, I gotta say. The hands at the walls, that's just something freaky I can't mess with. Arcus came back from the dead. I'm telling you, he's Jesus. Alright, let's keep going. Want that? Where am I now? Well, hello, Amanda. Hey, pedestal. I know she's that way, but I don't feel really like going that way. A pedestal. Nice. Go talk to Amanda. Carter, do you mind running? Like, is that something you can do? Please? Because you walk too slow for this. What's up, Amanda? Is this heaven? Hello, Hello Amanda. Amanda. Predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. Hmm. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Kanaman was destroyed, its memory was transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would hmm. be better for you. And the investigation. I understand. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the DVC case. What did you make of it? He's obviously, obviously not, not what, what I was, I was expecting. expecting. Hmm. But, but, 
I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with it. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Am I Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. I wonder, is Connor anti Marcus? He, he's working for Cyberlife. Hurry, Connor. Well, Marcus is alive now, I think, but I don't know if he, what he'll do, he'll probably, I don't know if he'll go back to Saturday Life or not. Hmm. Alrighty. Don't cross the line. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Can I act on the information like that? Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but we can wait on his desk. Only in things like that were in real life. You just connect someone's mind. It's like, yo, yo, what's up? You just easy wavelength. This one's in this desk. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hmm. Yes, people think of Lieutenant Anderson as a scrub. Dark heavy metal, nice. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. Leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beat him. Whatever. I don't want to freak him out. Who doesn't? Huh. Doesn't seem to be growing. Cold coffee contains caffeine. Nah. Likes Detroit, the baseball team, eh?
Oh, he has a dog. Canine. Here's a shepherd. Has a decorated office. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I said you could shut your head at this. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, jeez. Hank! In my office! Ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidences. Old ladies losing their android mains and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy. There we go. Yeah, but this isn't just Dang. Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No, no fucking, fucking way. way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hey! You are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things? Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh, dang, that's harsh. He's saying he doesn't do no work. I wonder whether Lieutenant, Lieutenant Anderson, Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, hey! I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Hey, screw you. Nice day, Captain. <laughs> That's not what I would say. If I did, if Connor didn't die, Lieutenant Anderson wouldn't be like this. Destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Hmm. Probably is going to happen. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Why are you trying to smile? That's a creepy smile. I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> Anyone else think that smiles? No one's using that one. <laughs> that does that smile not just creep you out? <laughs> that is the creepiest desk I ever have ever used. I've ever anything's ever happened. A lot of people don't appreciate having Android. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Alrighty then. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> 
kind of just... Oh. Wow. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair says a chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Dear Lord, he ain't Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Hmm. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? <sighs> if you have any files on deviance, I'd like, I'd like to, take to take a look, look at them. Terminals, Terminals on your desk. Back yourself out. Hmm. This guy's probably from the old days. Hmm. spread across the country. Hmm. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I think Connor's becoming more sensitive. Personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Hmm. I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. Why did I say that? If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Uh, why am I ruining relationships? Especially relationship between Connor and Hank. That's a good, sounds like a good relationship. And not what you think that I mean. I mean, like friends and stuff, but still. Hank got a lead. Alright, so wait for Hank. Huh. Alright, let's keep going. relationship right here a child and an android is what I need to keep on because like this distant relation this distance isn't gonna be very good so
death to androids. Oh, so this android get beaten up? Dang. What's right here? Cyberlight. First, android zoo opens. Ah, why would you want to make android animals? That's a bad idea. Canada. Canada still android free zone. Huh. I think we're about to see a. I think that's a you know. Looking, that's making forward to the, to more in the future, I guess. human seems like a mind control chip then let's keep moving make a balance why are you open the door soon just open the door and say hey wake up I am human. Child. Ah, oh, great. Connor. The police are on our trail. That's all for now. Here you go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw it. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? Do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. 
Yeah, my decision decisions were irrational. Didn't have a plan. And it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Oh, Alice, come on. Stop. 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 We saw them headed for the train station. Connor? You <laughs> Oh dang he plays Connor. Dude, boy he's fast. Go it. Yeah, I can play as you. I have to catch myself. They're over there. Gunner. Don't shoot. We need it alive. Goodbye. Yay. Yeah, danger, do not pass. Why are, you, why are we passing this? Why? We're going to die. Oh, fuck. That's insane. Oh, Oh, these things are too fast for me to handle. Where you go? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. I won't go. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh man, man, it's giving me a heart attack. Are you okay? I don't think this is the time for hugs.
Hmm. Nice. Anyways, I think this will be the last time of the episode.